YouTube, and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hanging With Heavy video. Hey, you give me a few minutes to gather my letters, and I want to talk to you about a welding symbol with multiple reference lines. So, hang, give me a few minutes, hang with heavy, and we'll go to the whiteboard of knowledge, and I will explain to you the welding symbol with multiple reference lines. All right, let's take a look at this welding symbol. This is a multiple reference line welding symbol, and it looks a little intimidating. I don't mind telling you, but let's take a look at this. Number one, we're going to do the first, second, and third operation. The first operation to be done is going to be the one closest to where the arrow is pointing. So let's take a look at that. All that's asking us for is a one quarter inch fillet weld convex on the which side? other top bottom arrow so it's going to be on the other side over here is where we're going to be putting our first weld. Now let's take a look at our second operation. It's calling for a 3-8 bevel if you will at 45 degrees. So what's going to happen now is that this is going to be beveled 3 8 of an inch at 45 degrees and don't get excited I'm going to be drawing this up here for you so you can see exactly what is supposed to be done. And last but not least, our last operation is going to be a half inch fillet weld, concave or convex. Remember, concave goes in. Concave goes in like a cave. So convex fillet weld is going to be our third operation. So this looks a little intimidating, but in reality it's not. So hang with Hebe as I show you how these welds are going to be put together. All right, let's take a look at where these welds are going to go. Now, I told you I would explain to you exactly where every weld goes. This is our first weld, is our quarter inch fillet weld, and you notice it's going to be convex. So that's going to go right over here. That's going to be our first weld, and it's going to be a quarter inch. So we know that this distance right here. So this distance here is going to be one quarter and the distance from here to here is also going to be one quarter. Now then, let's talk about something here. It called for a convex weld. That means that the weld, the face of the weld, should look a little bit like that going out. So if you've got a fillet weld, let's take our fillet weld symbol here, you're going to have a weld that's slightly protruding out. Now, it can't be protruding out excessively. If you do, that makes, creates what we call stress risers and will cause it to fail. Let's take a look at the second thing that we're supposed to do on this particular welding symbol, which is our bevel, our 3 8 inch bevel with the 45 degree. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. We're going to be coming in 3 8 of an inch on the bottom and 3 8 of an inch up on the top and making a bevel so that we can have a 45 degree. Now, you'll notice that there's no welding going on here right now. Only thing that they're asking us to do is to prepare this weld joint in accordance with these instructions onto our welding symbol. So, by making our 3 8 of an inch, we're able to get that 45 degree bevel. Now, our weld has already been made on the back side. That was our first operation, and it did call for a weld, so we did this operation first. Let's take a look at our last operation, which is going to complete this weld. Let's take a few minutes to take a look here at the last and final operation, which was a half-inch fillet, fillet weld convex. Notice that this weld now is one-half inch. Let me write this in here for you so we can see that. This is one-half inch here, and this is one-half inch here giving us equal fillet legs. So in reality this weld symbol was not all that difficult. All we did was take one reference line at a time, perform the operation it called for. First thing we did was a quarter inch fillet weld on the um, other side. We made a 3 8 bevel on the arrow side and we finished it off with a half inch weld fillet weld convex on the opposite side. Now. Let's take a look down here. I don't know whether we can see. I'm going to shine the, uh, turn the camera here for a minute and put it on the bottom where you can see something going on here. And we're going to zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. Now then, you probably can see that just a little bit better maybe. This is your quarter inch. This is your half inch. This is convex 
and this is concave. Now you want to start using some of these uh, words and terms when you're talking to your friends about welding. And let's talk about that for just a minute. Your knowledge of welding has definitely got to be increasing if you've been hanging with Heve and following these weld symbols. Your supervisor may have been taking a notice that you understand what you're looking at now. Keep in mind, knowledge is power. And if you want to uh, get ahead, you've got to know a little bit more than the guy next to you and work just a little bit harder. So you hang with Heve as we go through some more weld symbols and you increase your welding knowledge. So until next time, YouTube, what I want you to do. Hey, you know what I want you to do. I want you to reach over there, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And I want you to tell all your friends about it. But you know what's even better? Is that I'm going to catch you outside.